Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. I hope everybody is doing well. It's the 28th of June. I can't believe we are so nearly done. Uh, so I'm working on one of the museum edition today. So this one is The Scream, um, which I can see in it even if it's it's not got the finer art detail, I can still see what it is. Um, I'm going to be using the pink tray, add more zest to the bigger pink tray. I'm also going to be using the clear pen, which is the limited pen for this month, of which there's still a few left. And I have a metal tip and a metal straightener in it. Um, I also have a little box, it has addresses on both sides so that's why you're only seeing the corner. Uh, I have untaped the tape, untaped the tape, sliced the tape open but apart from that I haven't had a nosy. So let's have a look at what's in here. This is from Lady Dax. So this is what I've got. She's repurposed one of our boxes, which I love. Recycle where you can. So let's have a look here. Uh, so she says, hi, Rebecca. Hope this arrives before the end of June waffle, um, as she thinks Paula would be happy for to use it in the video. She insisted on writing her own note to you. I thought maybe the other pen would come in handy to use in your logbook and on your tablet or phone. Ooh, I'm excited. So, um, Lady Dax, which is Paula, isn't it? I'm sure it's Paula. These, these, in fact, she's just put Lady Dax on there. I'm sure the email says Paula. She emailed very late last night to say that this was coming. And it's actually arrived just before I've gone to do this June waffle. I went to the cinema last night with my daughter. So I didn't do the 28th of June, the night before. I'm doing it on the 28th of June. Uh, it's my son's birthday, but he's at work. So let's use the time wisely. So this is a super quick, like it hasn't, it hasn't been in my house for more than about 10, 15 minutes. Uh, so this is a hi, just a little something to say thank you for the help and advice for my mum, Lady Dax and the DP community. I'll be doing my first full drill diamond painting in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I stole my mum's bright orange tray. <laughs> so this is from P. Jelly, artistic, autistic. Um, it is Paulette. Paulette, not Paul. I was close. I was close. Um, so thank you so much for the cards. And let's have a look at what we have. Oh, so we have a gorgeous pen. This has got like a, a bumpy feel to it and then it's got gems down the side. Oh my likes, that's pretty. So let's ditch this pen today and let's go for this pen. That pen can come back another day. It's already had an appearance once. Let's pop in a glue dot. This is before I've even looked at what else is in my is in my little goodie bag. I'm gonna get myself a glue dot in. I like to sort of twist the pen around as I'm going to get the glue dot to sit in as nice as possible. Dab it on my clothes, dab it on my face, dab it on my hands, just to get rid of that excess sticky. And then I also have, oh, love from Lady Dax and Pea Jelly. And that is a normal pen and a stylus pen. Oh, I love that. Let me have a little. Oh, and it's black. Okay, that will be well used. Thank you very much. I'm going to pop that up with my orders pens at the moment that I might, as they suggested, use it on my logbook. So thank you very much, ladies. I am, I am very excited. And I am off with a blue pen for today. How quick is that being used within 10, 15 minutes of it arriving? 
I'm probably going to tip out far too many diamonds because I'm using a bigger tray for what I need and I'm zooming out not in. So let's try that again. Let's zoom in on the screen. But yeah, I actually, I am, I'm a little bit disappointed that there's only three days left, to be honest. I am, yeah, I'm feeling like June has officially disappeared far too quickly. It's been a busy month, a very, very busy month. So it will be nice to you know slow down just a little bit throughout the month of July well hopefully slow down a little bit throughout the month of July we shall see what the month has in store for us but yeah it definitely feels like it has disappeared really quickly but at the same point when I think back to the first it feels like that was ages ago so there's definitely a bit of a bit of both going on but yeah I hope everybody is having an amazing day I am actually off work today because it's my son's birthday I like to book the kids birthdays off work just so I am about um, more so when they were younger but I still do it now that they're older just in case you know, I remember one year my son wanted takeaway pizza or something for his lunch. So I was like, right, okay. Off I went. Got him his got him his takeaway pizza. And he was happy that it wasn't a matter of, I can't do it now. I need to wait till later. I'm at work type thing. Now he's at work. Um, so yeah, a little bit of little bit of a change because he's at work on his birthday but that's one of those things that's up to him and I am it gave me the opportunity actually to go and see Elvis so I went to the cinema to see Elvis with Karis last night which was good but we didn't get in until well it didn't finish until about 11 which is quite late for me at the moment. Never used to be, but it is at the moment. Uh, but it was good. It was good to go and see a film, which I've not done in ages. Feels like ages and ages. Our cinema has recently, one of our cinemas, we've actually got two now, but one of our cinemas has recently changed to like a Lux cinema with the full on reclining seats. Rather posh, rather nice if I do say so, which is good because it was a long film. It was like two and a half, three hours long, so. But yeah, we went to do that. So comments and questions. First, uh, I have a comment from Desire for Diamonds. I do need to apologise to her. This ended up in my potential spam folder of comments so this comment is actually from a couple of weeks ago uh, but it is only just showing up because I forgot to check my spam on YouTube um, so I needed to approve it as being a real person but she says hi Rebecca she says she's catching up on the waffles she's a few days behind um, she said, but that's not a bad thing because then I can sit for a few hours and diamond paint my heart away. Uh, she said she's kitted up her first diamond dots kit, the cupcake ones. So she's excited to see how that goes. I think we have had comments from different desire for diamonds before. I remember the cupcakes. Um, she said the canvas is beautiful but every single packet of drills has a static nightmare. Uh, she said she was doing a kitten up video and actually mentioned me. Um, she was like, how does Rebecca deal with this static and still manage to talk to us? <laughs> She's like a wonder woman. 
Yeah, well, I'm hoping that my dryer sheets in the bags before I kit them up is a static combatter. I still have not kitted up those because I decided to take my cross stitch to Centre Parks with me. That's where I have so many plans of things to do and time does not allow me to do them. Uh, so I did not get around to kitting those up, but I will be kitting them up at some point in the upcoming videos because they are something that I want to have ready to do a little bit of. I need to kit up a 30 by 40 as well. I feel like they've been a little bit ignored recently for the big paintings. Though that's not a bad thing because I'm enjoying getting through some big paintings. So there'll be lots of kitting up videos to come in July and hopefully I won't deal with static a lot. Uh, she said the favorite, her favorite paint gems that I'm doing this time is the flowers. Uh, and with it with the added a b she said it just gives it that extra little bit of sparkle she says thanks for keeping me company well you're welcome and this could say this comment was left a bit ago so i do apologize for that uh, but i hope that you have managed to get in those few hours of diamond painting and got caught up and spent that little bit of time for yourself getting stuff done because it's always nice to get stuff done uh, Nancy she says thank you Rebecca she says another great waffle today uh, she was busy today she said she made some strawberry freezer jam mm. uh, she had to get the fresh strawberries processed quickly I love fresh strawberries. Um, she said, so she worked on her diamond painting later on in the evening today. Uh, she loves the peony. She says her next door neighbour has four bushes at her place uh, and the beautiful smell comes their way while they're blooming. Well, that's nice. It's better than having horrid smells. Um, used to love smelling the flowers my nan used to my nan used to have and picking the strawberries that my granddad used to have mm -mm. um she says the white ab's you added look perfect to her uh she'll keep thinking of ideas for the paint gem minis not sure why she said but when they first came out she was thinking of all sorts of sets they could bring out old-fashioned keys camping items a halloween set she's on a roll <coughs> she's on a roll a list is coming there are loads of mini sets that they could come out with i think it's definitely something that they could keep at and keep doing more for sure so i'm working across this bottom line at the moment to see what colour I'm doing next. So I'm on P, fill in this little gap. Uh, ooh, sorry, I scrolled, scrolled too far up my comments then, a bit too quickly. Uh, so only Merlin, she said, your gorgeous orange tray uh, and other goodies uh, she ordered has made their way to her home in Arizona. She said they're a present that she bought for herself on her birthday on the 25th. So happy belated birthday. Uh, she said, thank you so much for everything and all you do on a daily. She says, P.S. She says, so far, the butterfly nebula is her favourite, but she loves them all. They do all have their own little reasons I think for being spectacular and for being fun um yeah I just I like them all for different reasons and I could see them all having homes in different places but the butterfly nebula was absolutely gorgeous and it definitely worked with the ABs I think they made it just that little bit extra extra special 
Dinaya, who I always say her name wrong, I'm sure I do, and I know she's told me how to pronounce it. Uh, she says her daughter, unfortunately, is afflicted with serious ADHD. She said it keeps her from focusing on most things, uh, even drawing that she used to do daily. She says, hopefully, if we can get that under control, uh, she'll get to join her in the addiction. Uh, she's found a lot of paintings that have made her eyes grow wide. Um, in, with delight, she said, so there's always hope. Well, if not, you're just going to have to do them for her. You know, diamond painting isn't for everyone. Um, and sometimes I have to keep telling myself that, especially because I can get very excited about it uh, and possibly talk too much about certain aspects of it. I think that's how the hobby gets to know so much. Um, but, yeah, it's not for everybody. And if she does, you know, give it a go and enjoys it, great. If she doesn't, she can be your personal shopper. And she can just go shopping and find all the ones that you need to do <laughs> for yourself. Uh, jo, she says, uh, thank you for another great waffle, Rebecca. She's loving the space paintings. Uh, she said she also got her dog a cooling mat uh, because the temperature there reaches 35 degrees Celsius. Ooh, that's warm. She says at first she didn't want it until she discovered the cooling effect when she puts her weight on the mat. Yeah, we might have to look look for that. She likes to hide under the table where it's cooler. Um, and then especially when it is hot because she is a puppy, I sort of make sure that well not only is the kitchen door open so that she can go in there which is cooler but because she's at the point where she likes to follow people about I make sure that I have periods of time where I pot her in the kitchen so that she ends up following and she might cool down even if she doesn't realise she needed to cool down. <laughs> um, plus it gives me a chance to cool down so I'm all for it because the kitchen's cooler for me as well but I will have a look into that warming mat especially if we do get another sort of heat wave of temperatures which we may do because we've not really hit full-blown summer yet I wouldn't say um, and we've already had sort of a heat wave we'll see whether we do another at the moment now it's warm but it's sort of wet and cloudy which is the typical British summer, really. Um, Sarah Jane, she says she loved the Lotus. She says it really suited uh, with the ABs. She said the little bud came out okay in the end too. She says it's been warm here again in Northamptonshire. She said, how is the cooling blanket uh, you you got doing she says but it keeps you cooler uh she says and how was the weather when you were away um yes i have used the cooling blanket uh, a few times i do find that it does it is nice and cooler especially the really light one um so i have both a cooling blanket and a cooling comforter now uh, which I'm pretty sure, did I show the cooling comforter last month? Yes, so I showed the comforter at the beginning of June. I was just having a quick look, check to see when it actually was unboxed. So I've actually used both and that does depend on how warm the evening is. Um, but quite often with the comforter, I've sort of started by using it as a normal quilt um, and had, you know, the warmer side um, against my skin. And then when I find that I, you know, can't quite settle and get to sleep and it's warm, because I'm getting too warm, I turn it over 
and then I have the really nice cooling side hitting me, which, you know, doesn't stay cold, but it is cooler than a quilt. Um, but I have used the blanket quite a bit as well because it's just nice to have something covering you, but, you know, not something that is that is too much and too heavy and too um, clunky. So yes, they have both been used so far. Uh, the weather while we were away was nice. We had no rain. Um, it was further up north from where we are. So the further north you go, the colder it tends to go. But I wouldn't say it was freezing cold. It wasn't heat wave, um, but it was nice. It was actually nice weather. There was only, I think, one evening where it was a matter of donning on coats on top of light clothing but that's not really too bad is it especially when it comes to night time and it's getting darker um you expect or i expect in the uk definitely to bob a, a cardigan or something on uh, we just had one evening where i was bobbing a coat on instead um and i say coat it was a gilet it was just a matter of it was just a little bit of a nighttime nip in the air but yeah it was good we'll definitely do it again I think I don't know when but we'll do it again uh, Brenda she says hi Rebecca she says after getting home from work today she said she found her add more zest parcel had been delivered uh, she immediately went and tried the tray she got the zesty page one. She's beige one. She said she also put a glue dot in her pen. She replaced the tip on her pen so that there was no wax residue to compete with. Uh, she said, and she absolutely loves it. Uh, she says for sure she will enjoy diamond painting even more now. Depending on the limited edition colours that are to come, she says she might very well might order herself another tray. Uh, there are a few that do. Susan says, if you're anything like some of us, she says it will become an addiction. Yes, there are a few. There are a few names that we do recognise each launch appearing and, and adding to their collection of trays uh brenda said she says it might however she does prefer the pastel slash soft colors she said she might next time get the bigger tray but since there is not a lot of color blocking on her paintings the zesty tray is a really nice size uh, she's even considering getting her dad one as a present perhaps for Christmas, since she got him into diamond painting about one and a half years ago. Oh yes, he's got to have the superior tools to go with, to go with the hobby. That's for sure. Look at me saying, yeah, just order another. Just order another. He'll love it. Um, Jess, she said, a perfect AB choices this was on the 22nd uh, she too got her orange and tan tray she said yes so she too got her trays yesterday and she said she love love loves them this glue dot's getting a little bit sticky again okay let's try dabbing it uh, she says lighter color trays are awesome she says, because you can see the diamonds the best in them. Which is why I think I gravitate towards the pink very often. Because I can see the trays a little bit easier, uh, the diamonds a little bit easier. Uh, she said she missed out on the orange zesty tray last year. So she feels so much better finally having, having an orange in her collection. Uh, she's still missing having a turquoise, uh, but she's sure it will come back around at some point in our lineup. 
She says she loves seeing them all arranged in rainbow order. She's one of those that loves setting up a tray per colour. Right, will you stick? I'll try on my clothes this time. I tried on my skin before, so I'll try on my clothes for that one. Um, she likes setting up a tray per colour, which I think I would do if I worked at like a desk space. If I didn't work on the couch, then I'm sure I would set up a tray per colour too, just to take out that time of changing things over. Uh, she says, thanks so much for all that you bring to the diamond painting community. She says, this stage of the whip and waffles is the hardest for her. Uh, she wants to plough through and finish the painting but it's not the same as working the sections alongside your video daily. Uh, she said sigh. She says she must distract herself with another painting. Finishes are my favourite part of a painting. I get exactly what you are saying. Well and truly. There is... There is the extra drive when it comes to finishing a painting. That's quite often when I do large paintings and things. That's why I often say how I try. Because many paintings you find that they have like a boring section maybe. You know the bottom or the top. And then it goes into you know, the hive of activity and the bulk of the painting itself. And then it goes to, again, a, sometimes a little bit more boring as you get the outline. And when I say boring, it's it's just often a little more block work. There's not, you know, lots of page design in it or anything like that. Um, so I often, the exciting times for me are the beginning of a painting and the end of a painting. So I often gear which way I tend to do a painting by the amount of, of busyness. I often start directly from the bottom, but occasionally I will twist it around if the image needs it. And that is so that I can have, you know, the boring part when I start because I'm starting a painting, it's, it's all gung-ho. And then, you know, when it may wane in the middle, especially if it's a big one, things slow down a little bit. That's when I, you know, have got an exciting part of the painting to keep me going. And then I work again on the sort of boring part at the end because I want to get it finished. And I do love that drive to finish a painting. I think it's just, it's so much fun. So I completely understand why you want to get to the point of finished and sort of go a little bit of full steam ahead and finish stuff up. Um, yeah, I completely get that. Because I'd want to do the same, but go you for keeping it in sections and still doing it little bit by little bit. Well, that's all I need of that H. Little bit of shading there. What are we on now? Oh, some U, bright orange. 740. We've got a little bit of this in a few different places. Trying to scroll down the comments with my left hand, it never works as well. <laughs> Uh, the cat lady, she says she came late to the party today as hubby took us out to the coast for the day. Very nice. I can imagine it was busy if that was a hot day. Uh, she said it was destined to be 27 degrees at home. So yes, for us Brits, that's hot. Uh, she says, so we went to the coast for cooler air. Uh, she has just two minutes ago finished her square kitten canvas uh, and she's now back on the pink and purple stones. 
I like that there are some there are some people that are having the chance to finish a few paintings. Now, whether they be finishing off ones that they've started or whether they just happen to be able to dedicate a bit more time to diamond painting and therefore are doing more than one by choice um, so that they can spend more time on it. Um, yeah, I love I love seeing I love seeing ones getting finished part way through the month as well and then um, them starting or kitting up the next one. Lady Dax, Paulette. Try and keep the names associated, but I'll forget in a few days. Uh, she said she had to laugh uh, when I said that I couldn't diamond paint after mowing. Yeah, it's that strimmer. It just... You know, I can't even put a little bit of sugar in my coffee when I've been mowing or strimming mainly when I've been strimming. It's just it's just not having it. Uh, she said she can't see the symbols today uh, as she's had drops in her eyes. Yeah, I, I, I can imagine it's it's tricky to diamond paint if you've had drops in your eyes. That's for sure. Uh, she said, plus she had to go to the arts and crafts group. Well, at least that's not a horrible place to go. Uh, she said she was really scared about having it done. She says, so a great big thank you hug, she says to Jackie for reassure, reassuring me over Messenger and checking that she was OK. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Uh, she says she's happy to say that her uh, retinas are healthy, uh, but she has asteroid hyalosis. Apparently that is black dots slash floaters in her right eye. Uh, and apparently she just has to live with them. Uh, she says, hope she doesn't mistake them for three tens on her paintings. I'm sure your body will adapt, um, adapt to them a great deal because the human body can be amazing at what it adapts to um, and what it, you know, can filter out if it needs to and can what senses can be heightened if there's loss of other senses. Adapt and overcome is what the human body can do rather well. But yeah, double check your three tens. You don't want to be... Um, you don't want to be seen three tens. Get yourself a spotter. In fact, um, pea jelly. Pea jelly can be your spotter. Check that you have not got random three tens in your painting. She can uh, check your work for you and make sure it all looks good. And admire it, of course, because the praise is always good at the same time. Get yourself a little tag team going on. Uh, Darcy, she said, hi, Rebecca. She said, yes, she has finished her June painting. She's set up and do, now doing Chuck Pinson, uh, just about at the halfway point on it. Uh, was listening to your work, work in progress or your whip while working on it. Uh, now watching the video. Great work. See, that's somebody who has, who's now on a second painting throughout June, which is, it kind of makes me a little bit jealous. Mm. Um, there are days, there are days and weeks where I do get more time to diamond paint than others. Sometimes, you know, I find that days are produ as productive as they need to be and then evenings I get to dedicate to sitting and diamond painting and other times there's just too much to do. Um, the month of June is always a busier month but I'm hoping to carve out more time in July to get more diamond painting done. So we shall we shall see how that goes. Um, Amy, she says she's still catching up 
um, and her son is sleeping easier with your voice as her hay fe as his hay fever is bad. Oh, bless him. Hopefully he's getting the rest that he can. Um, and yeah, just keep watching my videos and help him to sleep. Bless him. It's not nice when the little ones are well. It's not nice. It's not nice for us and it's not nice for them either. I am on tea, which is a yellowy orange actually. I thought it was more yellow, but it's not. It's more of a, a yellowy orange. It's an in-between. Um, Susan, she says she's beginning to sound like a broken record. Um, but she is really enjoying these small paintings. Well, that makes me happy because I know you mentioned in a comment uh, that you had originally said that you would prefer me to do one painting in 30 sections for the month of June. Um, and though, you know, there were other comments that were that were that way, there was a few more that were looking, you know, thinking of doing the minis. So it's nice that you've still enjoyed it, even if it wasn't your first choice. Um, and yeah, I like the fact that it's it's a bit of both. December will definitely be sections of a painting though, so it will be coming back. It's not ditched forever, that's for sure. Uh, she says she loves that I am finishing one each day. She said it gives us a sense of closure. Um, we're not left hanging um, as to what square is next, although that is fun too. Uh, she says, thank you so much for sharing. You are welcome. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying the fact that it's like, okay, yep, yeah, painting done. It is, it's job done. That is one of the nice things about these mini paintings. Because I do find, albeit some of the paintings you do look at and think, I think it was mainly the art one the other day uh, with the man kissing the woman that I had to explain. Um, while it wasn't the clearest, when you actually look at the painting compared to the diamond painting, it was a very good rendering for such a small image. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I love the detail that you can actually get in a small painting and I've done quite a few I did quite a few that were 10 by 15 centimeter paintings that showcased how how good a painting can look in a small size but these are even smaller and they still look good uh, okay let me get another color before I read another comment try and keep keep this ball a moving because it's it this is not only is this one slightly bigger than some of the other paintings this one also has a lot of color changes there's a lot of colors in this one so this painting is definitely going to be one that takes possibly the longest out of them all definitely longer than most one of the longer videos today and I can tell because I'm already, what, 25, 30, 40 minutes in and I've still got all this top section to do. Albeit I've done some bits, I still think it's it's a longer one of the few. Uh, Fee, she says, hi Rebecca. She says, listening to the Paint Gem mini kit idea mentioned in a video, she said maybe they could do a set um, for months of the year. Could just be the letter of the month or something apt around it too uh, with it based on the month. Mm, that is a good idea. I will have to see if they have any more sets planned. You know, around that sort of stuff, around... Christmas, Halloween, having a set for each each month of the year, all that sort of stuff. Very eager to see what else they may have coming out because I love the idea of, and I love having these kitted up alongside my large painting and my small painting. 
just to do every now and then. Though I've really enjoyed getting through three kits in one month and, you know, doing a painting a day. I've loved the size of these to do each day. Uh, Nancy, she says, where you put the ABs worked well today. Oh, I was trying to work out why that one wouldn't lie flat and it's got a little nub on it. Let's make sure we have a neat diamond for my edges. There we go. Um, she said, their temperature got up to 34 degrees Celsius today. Wow. She says, crazy hot in my opinion. Yes, those Brits definitely work better with 22, 23, probably. She says she is putting away her summer beach canvas uh, as we're getting ready to go camping. Uh, she says she wants to enjoy all the sections along with me. So she's going to play catch up when she gets home. Um, she has two other canvases in her camper. Um, she says she hopes that my son has a blast on his birthday. Thank you. She says this Saturday, June the 25th, she said is going to be a great day. We're celebrating a few things. She says one couple's anniversary and another couple's first official day of retirement. Oh, that sounds so exciting. Uh, she says, and her birthday. She says, we have a gourmet meal planned and she can't wait. Take care, she says, and I'll see, in brackets, listen to you again soon. Well, I hope you had an amazing birthday, Nancy. That would have been Saturday, wouldn't it? Yeah, we had a, a little get together for my son on Sunday. Just worked out the best best day for the family to be available and it was really good actually we did it in the afternoon so that you know there wasn't that work madness it's one thing doing doing something later on a Saturday and it going into the evening but on a Sunday you've got to bear in mind people are up for work on Monday so yeah that was good he really enjoyed it and then, yeah, we're going to see what he wants to do this evening. Uh, he's a bit of a homeboy, so I envision takeout will be on his list of requests. <laughs> but we'll see what he wants to do um, later on when he's when he's home and done his work for the day. Uh, Colouring with Lou, she says, another beautiful painting done. Uh, she's loving all the pinks on the lotus flower. Uh, she says she's finished La Katrina by Mandy Manzano today uh, whilst watching your waffle and she shared it in the Facebook group. Now she's trying to decide next what to kit up out of her stash. That's where I use the decision wheel because I just can never decide which one I want to kit up because my I flip between, oh, I should do this older one. Oh, but this new one's nice. Oh, but this one would look good. Oh, but this one's a bit different to what I've done recently. I flip between so much that I must say getting the decision wheel to decide for me has has been a dream has been an absolute dream and I am getting to paintings that are older. Uh, I am hoping it's going to pick a quite recent one for me soon, but we'll see we'll see how how much it wants me to do one that's that's more recent, but um yeah, it just it just takes the guesswork out of it for me. It's a cheat's way of deciding. And I like it and I am I am all for the cheat's way if it works for you. Uh, Army Moa Engine, Engine um, says turquoise would be amazing. Uh, they didn't start diamond painting until this year, so they missed out. Fingers crossed because they absolutely love jewel tones. Well, the sort of pale, palish turquoise colour 
um, was actually from the supplier we can't get from at the moment. But we will be keeping an eye out and I will be having a, a scour to try and find a turquoise um, that, that I can get hold of to keep us going um, and go through a few other colours. I've got a couple, I've got a couple of colours here. So we've nearly finished printing the trays for July. Um, which is good. I like to get them printed as soon as I can so that they're ready. But then the ones, uh, I've got two more colours here that we've just sort of picked up as we've gone along. But I think they both need to be zesty tray size colours. And they are both colours that we've done before or done something similar. If not the same colour, it's been similar. Which is why I think they need to be in a zesty size instead of the bigger size because we've done the bigger before um so yeah i need to go hunting um, and try and pick up a couple of other colors that we can do in the bigger size um for the likes of august and september so i will need to go filament shopping soon which is always a good thing, but it's amazing how many filament colours I end up bringing into the house at once. Uh, okay, let's get my next colour. So going across the bottom is actually E that I want next. Which is mainly around this side and then against the face. Uh, Helen, she says, happy anniversary to you and your hubby. Uh, it's her 31st birthday tomorrow on the 24th and she's being taken away. Ooh, very nice. I hope you had a wonderful time away and an amazing birthday. Uh, she said, even more exciting. She said, only you guys would think. She said she was gifted so many card making supplies. She said, and guess what? There was only a Xyron sticker maker. Woohoo! Uh, she said, I remember you saying that they can be expensive and hard to find in the UK. Yeah, it can be very hit and miss in the UK. If you have to order it from Amazon.com and get it sent to the UK, it can, it can be quite a bit more. She said, so she was so chuffed. I am not surprised that you are chuffed, Helen. That is a, it is a nice thing to have. Um, and it's amazing. And it, yeah, it's it's amazing how much of a, a little bit of a difference it makes when you're kitting up when you have one. Um, you don't have to. You can just, you know, put double-sided tape on the back of your stickers. But there is something nice about the whole thing being sticky. Uh, she says she's still catching up. And her partner has temporarily moved in whilst her parents are on holiday. Sorry, I'm just getting another colour. Uh, she says she has ME uh, slash CFS. So he's enjoying being my carer. <laughs> uh, she says she can't believe it's nearly the end of the month. I know, it seems to have come round so quick. In fact, I think it's somebody else's birthday today, if I remember rightly. Let me just check my emails. I won't be a moment because I'm pretty sure that it is. Oh, where is it? There's a little section in here where somebody told me that they were um, not going to be available. Ah, not going to not work in Tuesday next week because they don't work on their birthday. I thought they said that. So happy birthday to Sam from Diamond Art Studio UK. I hope you are having an amazing day and Giles is spoiling you rotten. Or do you send Giles to work when, when you're off on your birthday so you can do what you want? But I hope you're having an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing. Um, so yeah, lots of birthdays this month. Uh, Kimberly, she says she loves the peony. Uh, she says the ABs turned out so pretty. 
she's working on Soul of the Rose from Distracted by Diamonds. She started it last summer, but had put it away. She said it's a beautiful image, but the colours are very muted uh, and there is a lot of confetti. See, ideal time to bring it out, finish those projects. Uh, she says she'll take breaks and work on one of the museum editions on the days that I work on one um, to break it up a bit. Well, we have museum today. Uh, she says, hope everyone is having a great day. Yes, I like the idea of that, though, just to work on a painting, but then every now and then just break it up with a mini painting or whether it be a different painting. Because as much as I kit up, I kit up large paintings and small ones at the same time. And sometimes I move between the two. But quite often I will do, you know, like a huge chunk of the large one. And then I will move and do a big chunk of the smaller one, maybe half of it, maybe the whole thing. And then I'll move back to the larger one. Uh, I don't, it's not very often I do both in one evening unless I'm switching from one to the other. Um, so yeah, it's nice to just have the odd day where you do something completely different. Nancy, she says, oh, okay. She says she can start her day now. It's 11 a.m. her time, uh, which is when, I'm guessing that's when my video goes up. Uh, which goes up at 4 p.m. UK time, which we're currently on British summer time, BST. We flip between British summer time and Greenwich Mean time. Just to add confusion, as we know with the shop launch when I announced the wrong time frame because I forgot that we changed. But, you know, they just confuse things. There's always been talk of getting rid of the time change, but it's never quite happened. Uh, 20101946 Iffy, she says today she has ordered a beige tray. Uh, she says she, there was only two left, so she was lucky in getting one. Yes, the beige trays have now gone. Um, the pink trays are back on the website, though there's not a huge stock already printed. Um, so if we do have a big influx of orders, there may be a couple of days while we're getting them printed um, to go out. Purple, I have left the purple and the picture on there. I basically, I have um, less than half a roll left of the purple that's currently on a printer so what I decided to do was I didn't want to risk ending up with orders too many to come out of that roll so I have put on the website or I did put on the website yesterday the stock that was already printed already printed and ready to go, which has since gone. I've seen the notifications come up while I've been filming this, um, that they have, that the purples have gone out of stock. So once those are all out and done, out and sent, and the printer has had a day of printing one size or another or both, probably one size each day, um, I will restock the website according to what is finished and printed um, so you may see the odd one show back up but it's not going to be many because the roll has has really has nearly gone um, but pink has been put up and um, there's quite a few printed but of course depending on on the amount of orders the amount of people that missed out on pink and don't want to miss out again it may take it may take a few days for an order to go out. As with anything, sometimes it is. We try to get orders out as quick as possible. We try to get them out minimum within forty eight. 
occasionally it can be a day or so longer. It really depends if all of a sudden, you know, we we need to print a huge batch of lock books or something. And um, yeah, it's, it's a busy day. There may be an extra day or so, but we try to get them all out as soon as possible. I know I was printing purple trays for orders the other day. <laughs> They came through and they were getting printed on the day and as they were printing they were getting sold uh, which is why I decided to change the stock to be exactly how many were already printed and then I'll just adjust them until they're all gone which won't be long. I thought I had two colours left to do then but I don't have three I have a blue as well. So this is definitely one of the long videos. Um, so let me get a colour first. We'll draw one next. R. Oh. So 2019, 2010194646 Iffy also says, uh, she says she's done three of the paint gem dogs. Um, she says, and they've turned out beautiful. Uh, being so small, she said she thought that they might be a bit pixelated, but they aren't at all. She's doing a couple for her neighbours who have a French bulldog and a pug. Uh, and she's going to kit up the parks next uh, and swap between the dogs and the parks to vary it up a little bit. She says she's really enjoying the June waffle. Yeah, I like the fact that I've had three different types of kits to do for this month's waffle. I've really enjoyed the fact that it's not just one design. Um, because as much as I love them and I would do just one design if that's all I had, it has been nice to vary it up and to add in the ABs and stuff to vary it up even more. Let's make it a little bit more exciting. Uh, Jackie, she says, awesome idea, Susan. She says, thank you. She has pulled her book ring baggies out to change them over. So Susan did come up with the idea in her comments, which was genius. Um, on the book rings where I um, store my ABs, to move the label to the bottom corner. So I am not fighting trying to see the label when it's next to the book ring. So I have changed over my square ones. So I've just finished that color. So to show you, I have changed over, that one's empty because I've used it on this whip and waffle, but I have changed them over to be on the bottom left because that's how I tend to flip through and it is so much easier already. Sometimes it's just the simple things. If you find yourself fanning it that way, then you may want to put them on the other side. Um, I don't know that I have a particular way that I do it, but bottom left works for me and I can flip through. That one I didn't have a colour for, so I do need to match that up at some point. Uh, but yeah, I have popped my stickers on the squares. I've done them. I need to do the rounds as well because that is just, uh, yeah, a genius idea. So I will get round to doing my rounds at some point. But while I had my squares all over my desk, um, spread out from doing the last AB painting and they were all off the book ring, I decided to just get them done. Uh, Darcy, she says, thank you for letting me know. Uh, she says she understands about getting sick with the Rona. Said, my son and his family got it a week after getting the vaccines. Uh, she said she doesn't get sick. Uh, she says it has an upside and a downside. Not getting sick, but not getting out of work from being sick. Her bosses knew better. 
If you ever change job roles or start a new job, don't tell anybody at work that you don't get sick. <laughs> Sometimes you just need a day. Or you may need a day, and if you've told them. Um, she says, a comment on the wrist pain. She says she uses a sports wrap on both wrists. She said it really helps to support the joints and causes less pain and damage. Um, flexing your hands and wrists periodically also helps. See, I love all these little tips and tricks that get passed, passed around. Uh, Juliet. So last comment from Juliet, she says, uh, thanks so much for the waffles. She said she lost her mojo for everything in December and struggled to get back into it. She's watched every video, uh, keeping her love for diamond painting alive. And she said watching June waffles has helped to get it back. Thank you so much, she said, hugs from Utah. Oh, that's amazing. I think we all do have you know, flat times as such. There may be times that I still, you know, while I still do videos, I don't necessarily do as much diamond painting off camera um, as I may like to, or maybe just because I don't feel like it. Um, and I think it's okay to realise that that can happen, but that doesn't mean it's gone. It's just, Sometimes you just need a little bit of a rest. You just need to focus on something else for a bit. Uh, it's normally in my house that takes over when that happens. But the scream is done. That was definitely a longer one. Thank you so much to uh, P Jelly for my amazing pen that I've used today. And yeah, thank you for sending that. It did arrive really, really quick. UK Post in the UK is doing really, really well at the moment. I mean, to be fair, most of the time, even the orders that we track, they ship them out of the UK pretty quick. It's it's then them getting in taken in, in the country that they've gone to that can take a little bit. But the 28th is done. Two more left to go. I'm trying to think, how many do I actually have left here? So I actually have four left on the side but two left to do um, I'm thinking I might do at least one of them um, probably one I'd like to say two but I don't know if I have the time for two um, on the waffle on Sunday so my Sunday whip and waffle um, I will try and get another one of them done so that I can get the full set finished up and I can get kitting down. But yeah, I haven't fully worked out my schedule for July, but I think on Sunday, I will definitely do at least one in the waffle, maybe two, um, probably just the one, and then start kitting down, depending on which ones are finished. Because at the moment, I do still have at least one each left per kit. Um, I have one from each kit and then I have two of the museum to do. Um, so yeah, we will, we will see what turns up next for tomorrow. But thank you all, as always, so much for joining me and I'll speak to you all again tomorrow.